Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel for part 2 in our Jon Snow playthrough. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, thank you to everyone who watched episode 1, but if there was any comments about what to do in this episode, I'm sorry I won't be able to put them in because I did record this episode straight after the first one because I didn't want to upload episode 1 until I knew how episode 2 went because there's still a high chance that Stannis could go on a suicide mission and get killed and then the playthrough would have been over and it wouldn't have been worth uploading if it was only going to be two episodes. I didn't want you to enjoy episode 1 and then episode 2 ends after a few minutes so we'll see how we go. We are currently doing very well in the north. We've got Roose Bolton's wife and child as prisoner but well, Stannis is losing more to Tommen because of what's going on down south, unfortunately, which is very, very annoying. He's leading the army down south for some stupid reason as well. So hopefully he doesn't get captured before we get a 100% war score in the north. But it's looking very possible that that might happen, which is very, very annoying. But let's carry on. We're trying to attack this Karstark army over here to hopefully get the war score better we're at 54 percent now and there's just these two little bolton armies that we're more than capable of taking care of stannis army's just standing here for some reason rather than charging this bolton army down and winning but at least we're going to take out this car stark army fairly easy hopefully and then we'll march down and take care of this bolton army okay so you're on crow's eye has won a load of things also, it's only really the Rizwells and the Dustins, who, and then obviously Ramsay and Winterfell, who have stayed loyal to um, Roos. Everybody else has changed over sides completely. Right, there we go. So we've defeated that army. Now let's march on this bigger army. We need to get this war won before Stannis loses. And he's <laughs> it's, they're all very even and very close. 63% down to Aegon. 63% up to Roos. Oh no, 81% down to Tommen now. It's not going to happen for us because Stannis is a complete fool. We have a new heir now. Okay, Rickon. Well, he should have been our heir anyway. I don't know why a car start would have been. Oh, he's losing heavily. Let's get over here and... Take out that Bolton force quickly. Come on, quickly. Hopefully Roos is around. All of them see... No, except their marriage. Jon Snow isn't going to care about something as silly as that. Here we go. Are we going to get there in time? Yes, we are. Victor at 88%. Oh, we're so close. We've not got enough men to siege Winterfell, though. Where is another Bolton force? Right. Get down there and attack that Karstark force quickly. 88%. Oh, come on. We're st oh, no. 88 and 85 it is going to be so close. This is going to be so, so, so close. We're attacking that car hold. Oh, I'm perfect. We're right behind that Bolton army. So let's trail them. Hopefully, they're going to Barrington by the looks of it. We're at 93%. We're at 100%. We've done it. Come on. Stannis, hurry up and sue for peace. Yes, we've done it. Oh, yes. Yes, we've done it. Oh, that is Awesome! Lord Paramount John of the North has usurped the title Lordship of Moat Kaling from Lord Roos the Leech Lord. Lord Paramount John of the North has usurped the title Lordship of Winterfell from Ramsay Bolton. Lord Paramount of the North has usurped the high title Lordship of Winterfell from Lord Ramsay of Winterfell. Lord Paramount of the North has usurped the title Kingdom of the North from Lord Roos the Leech Lord. The Stannis Baratheon's War for the North has ended. Lord Paramount Stannis of the Stormlands has won. Okay, after seizing the Lordship of Winterfell, you have also captured the treasury of the disposed Ramsay Bolton. What do we get? A fine set of armor. That's it. Okay, we've all we've already got Longclaw as our new Valyrian steel sword, so that's perfect. Lord Paramount Stannis has won his war and raised me up as Lord of Winterfell. Melisandre has been beseeching me, however. John, she is so close I could feel the warmth of her breath. Relor is the only true god. A vow sworn to a tree has no more power than one sworn to your shoes. Open your heart and let the light of the Lord come in. Burn these weirwoods and accept Winterfell as a gift of the Lord of Light. This is part of the price I must pay. I have no right to... I, I have no right. Winterfell belongs to the old gods i'm sorry stannis but i cannot do that i'm afraid right can we revoke this title high lordship of the dreadfort yes we can revoke high lord of the dreadfork from roose bolton that will be ours and we'll give it to somebody more loyal can we revoke lordship of the dreadfort from you yes we can so i will 
And I'm also going to revoke that, even if it does upset people. Because you don't deserve it anymore. I'm taking all your titles away from you. My prisoner, Ramsey Bolton, is complaining about the dark cells in the dungeon that he and his family are occupying and is asking for more suitable accommodations that would befit their rank. You Boltons can stay where you are. We need to get revenge on the Boltons first, don't we? Right. Our prisoners, Ramsey and Roos. Roos, we will execute imprisoned. This will upset rulers in car hold. Roos the Lord, Lord dies. Do it. My Lord, Roos Bolton has been brought from his self execution. How shall he be dispatched? He will be beheaded. It is the North, it is said that he who passes sentence must swing the sword. So should Roos Bolton receive his sentence from me? Yes, it is the old way. Roos Bolton was beheaded on the orders of Lord John, the Paramount of the North. Oh, car hold. Oh, Harry and is free. Lord Harry and Car Stark is free. Okay. Do we... We can't actually take the title away from him anyway. I was going to give it to his sister and the Magna of Fen, but we could give them a different title, I suppose. Um, Right. Prisoners. Ramsey Bolton, I'm going to execute you as well. Execute in prison. Have Ramsey executed. Do it. He will be beheaded. And the old way is the right way to do it. So that is the end of the Boltons. Ah, yes. Is that the Frey army marching north to attack us? I believe it is. Right. We can call up our banners to help out, but I'm going to sort out our council because now we should be able to get a much better council. Can we now send for a maester? Yes, send for a maester of the Citadel. Oh, well, you haven't got enough gold at the moment. Lord Dick Yellow of Hornwood is a threat, apparently. Hmm, we can't... We can't revoke his title. I don't really... He was friends of Ramsey, weren't he? Yes, so I don't really want him having Hornwood. So I am going to... It's probably going to upset people, but I am going to take it away from him. And give it to someone more loyal. I'm not keeping lands and titles to these houses that were uh, loyal to the Boltons. Where is the Hornwood? It's around here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, so when will it revoke the title from him? Two days. Yeah, he's accepted. Fair enough. So he goes over to Carhold now. And we'll give Hornwood to somebody else. I need to decide who to give these titles to. Hide Lordship of the Broken Branch. Yes, I will create. There we go. Actually, that's a good point. Didn't the Glovers have in their court a Hornwood bastard? Lawrence Snow. Yes. You. You. Grant a landed title. I'm going to give you Lordship of Hornwood because it should be. Can we legitimise you first? No, we can't, can we? Um, can we do something? Hmm. Will he just get the Hornwood name if I give it him? He's not actually our son, is he? So, but I am going to grant him the landed title, Lordship of Hornwood. No, nah, he's not going to keep... That's annoying. He should have just changed to Hornwood. Never mind. At least it now does go to a Hornwood person. Set crown focus in Winterfell. Do it. Right. Who do we give our other titles to? Got a lot of titles to hand out to these loyal lords. Carhold is still not on our side. Hopefully they'll see the error of their ways. The Mandalays did come to our aid, but... Oh, wow. Both his sons are now dead. Can we arrange a betrothal with his one of his daughters with somebody? With Rickon, maybe? They're going to die out by the looks of it, the Mandalis. We could take her title away from her, High Lordship of Bar the Barrelands, because they obviously went against us but they did do it through marriage john is quite forgiving i suppose and they have bent the knee now by the looks of it the glovers were loyal so we could give land to his sons maybe garwin glover but then the bear island were also loyal so i feel like they should get a better title as well grant a landed title what have we got 
could give them the Dreadfort or Ethering. Moat Kaelin. Hmm. Not sure. We will grant you, though, the High Lordship of the Broken Branch. There we go. I'm not sure yet who we should give these titles to. I don't know if to take some more titles away from the unloyal people as well. Oh, Hoarfrost Umber. Okay, so they've actually had a child. I don't know who to give the tit titles to. I do want to hand them out to people who are loyal. I'll let you guys decide for me, I think, guys. But at least we've got the North Right. We need, now need to call our banners to help Stannis with his war for the Iron Throne. But he's at minus 93%. He's not going to win. He really is not going to win. But we'll, we'll call our banners in anyway. Oh, shouldn't have called them ones in. Never mind. Right, everybody... Oh, we've got a lot of men. Everybody meet at um, Moat Kaelin, please. All of you as well. No one can attack us in the north at Moat Kaelin. Who's this big army here? Is that the others? Army of the White Walkers. Oh, shit. 14,500 men. They've pretty much... They're about to take the wall. That is not good. Oh, the veil's split up. Defending against a Stannis. Or is, yeah, but what's the rest? Ah, the rest. And Harry the Air isn't getting involved. Is that Sansa? Yes, it is. Can we uh, become friends with Harry the Air? It's our half-sister, but she's got a bad opinion of us for some reason. Okay, fair enough. See how it is. Lord Rick on our half-brother. He should be in our court, really, shouldn't he? So can't I take him as... Can't I be his guardian? No, but he's our little brother. Whatever. Bran normally appears, doesn't he, as well as I are. Hopefully they'll appear fairly soon. Let's sort out our council as well, actually, now that we have a lot of better people. We're probably going to have a better Castellan now. I don't really want the Riz. Hmm. We've not got a great opinion as of, obviously, we do need to try and get these on side a bit more. We'll go... Let's go with him. Uh, Justifer. Do we have a better Justifer now? I don't want to do Vow. No, you can be our, in, uh, our spy, actually, Wyman. I'll go with you. Master at Arms, I believe yours probably still the best one. Yes, you are. Lord Treasurer. Hmm. Spy Master. Yes, Wyman, it'll be you. Priest. Ah, we've actually got a priest as well now. We'll go for you. Got to wait till we've got a bit more coin to send ourselves a maester. Minor titles. Keeper of the Swans. Lord Glover. Captain of Household Guard. Oh, okay. Give that to Asher Forrester, I think. Designated Regent. Lady Barbara of the Barrowlands. I don't bloody think so. That can go to Lord Galbert Glover, considering he stayed loyal to the Starks. Unlike in the show, where he just then decided not to send any of his men to Winterfell and managed to get away with it perfectly fine. The White Walkers just passed him on by. Maybe all the other Northern Lords should have left it. They should have stayed on Bear Island and whatever. Commander Howland Reed, definitely. Uh, Lady Mage Mormont, definitely. Hmm, Lord Roderick of Ironrath. Yes, we'll go with you. You're close by, aren't we? We'll get you on side. It'd be nice to get some of these younger lads on as guardians. Sorry if this episode is not the most interesting. I just want to try and sort out our court so we don't get too much people revolting against us and stuff. That's why I want to give the Dreadfort and that to someone quickly as possible so that we can get some of the more powerful areas on our side. Like, the Lord of Hornwood's now surely going to completely love us, so we've got him on side. Right, let's have a look. It. Yes, the young lad, Gowing Glover. Can we take him on as a squire for John? Yes, we can. So we'll take him on. And he's got good marshal as well, so that's perfect. So we'll take him on as a squire. And what about Mandley? What about if you, we take your young granddaughter here to Lady, Lady Val? Where's Lady Val? Yes, there we go. That's perfect. Who else has young children around here that we may be able to... Oh. 
Kerwin, you've just had one, haven't you? The young Umber lad. I'll give him to... No, you won't accept him, will you? Uh, I'll take him on as my personal one then. Lord Lawrence Snow, can I take him as my... Yeah, I can take him on as a squire as well. Right, we need to sort out some other ones as well, though. Hmm. I could give one of the mountain clans a better uh, seat, because they were one of the first to jump up and in our name. Also, Skagos, he obviously looked after our little brother for us. Does have a daughter. Let's arrange a betrothal between her and Owen. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Owen of Craster's Keep. Gilly's son. So we'll look after him for the sake of Sam. Um, Iron Raff. Ryan Forrester. Zyna Guardian. Yes, we'll do. We'll go for that Guardian. Yep, try and forge some alliances with all the Lords of the North. Oh, Tormund's now dead. He's been killed. It's a shame. Is one one still in his presence? No, one one must be dead too. Then I really wanted to save one one, but I've just knows right. So there is a son of Mormont. So let's have a look. So the heir of Bear Island, her oldest daughter, Alessane the She Bear, she has actually got a son called Morgan Mormont. So I am going to grant him Lordship of Etherin. So there we go. It's got a horrible Bolton banner though, which is not good. It is a house Mormont. So House Mormont now has some land on the mainland, which is perfect. Let's assign a who what's he got at? Treasury. Let's assign a guardian to you let's have a look have we got anyone who's good nilla yep yeah, there we go perfect so that's something for Ephraim. i've not decided yet who we're going to give the dreadfort to the umbers did come to our aid great john is still in prison we can plot to rescue him from prison so i'm going to do that we'll get a plot going to rescue the great john get him on side he was one of obviously one of the biggest supporters of our brother rob so we want to get him on side if we can but is there any other Younger Umbers. Rickard Umber is the heir, obviously. So we don't want to give it to him. But Lord Willem of Seal Shore. Ah, uh, he already owns land, so we don't need to worry about him. Brenda Umber. Mm, daughter Alara Snow. No, so we won't bother with the Umbers. We won't give them the land. They've obviously, they're going to um, inherit Castle Kerwin anyway. So they have been rewarded, I suppose, technically. Who else was loyal? The Glovers, they probably... Well, we took his son in as a squire, didn't we? And they've got a decent land anyway. We could give him something in the future, maybe. Grant him a landed title. I just don't know who to give the Dreadfort to. But we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out eventually. Let's get all our armies together. And try and help Stannis. Oh, what? Righteous Imprisonment. Who's that for? May you live in harmony and content. I decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between Owen and Hagener. Awesome. It seems that Bowen, the spymaster of Mistress of Beth King's Course, has been sent to King's Course to investigate rumours of a plot. Maybe he should be silent before he finds out about my plot to rescue Lord John Umber. Bowen Castellan of... That might be Nest Chant of, of plot revealed. Yeah, but why would the North be bothered about us trying to rescue John um, uh, Lord John? That doesn't really make any sense. Lord Donald the Black. Why? What has he done? May you live in harmony and contentment. I, Lord Harold, accept your proposal of a non-aggression pact. Perfect. May you live in harmony and contentment. I gladly accept the guardianship contract between Lord Paramount John and Lord Lawrence. Okay, perfect. Right, can we form an alliance with the Vale because of this? Yes, we can. So now we form an alliance with the Vale and our sister Sansa obviously so we're going to mark him as an important character and they've had a child oh no that's his bastard isn't it but when they have a daughter or a son we will marry it to our own daughter or son when we get one which will hopefully be soon hoping that we can get a son soon but there we go we've got one of our wards already who loves us it's a shame that we can't 
get Rick on. Right, yep, let's get our forces together then and try and help Stannis. I think it's pretty much a lost cause, but... Awesome, guardianship, we took Hoarfrost Umber. What a name, that is an awesome name, Hoarfrost Umber. <laughs> okay, news from the Battle of Chittering Brook, my lord, your enemy, Lord Clement Piper, has been slain. Okay, by Sir John Massa. Okay. Oh, it can't accept. Fair enough, that's fine. Can we assign a different guardian to him? Yeah, Asher Forrester, what about that? Oh, okay, fair enough. Right. Merge this army together. I want to put... Howl and Reed as the commander so that we're joined together and hopefully that will spark the other... Um, a main event for John, which is obviously R plus L equals J. Your wisdom and mercy, leisure. I gladly accept the guardianship contract between Neely and Lord Morgan. Okay, perfect. I accept your proposal for an alliance. Awesome. So the Vale have formed an alliance with us. That is great news. I gladly accept the guardianship contract between Lady Paramount, Val, and Mara. Perfect. Right. The Tully, yeah, Edmure Tully is now. Is Edmure Tully still alive somewhere? Let's have a look. Lord Edmure Tully of the Trident, Kingdom of the Westerlands. Right, yeah, so he's over there. Can we can we invite him to court or something maybe to get him on a uh, get him on side? That would be interesting. And then we can give him the Riverlands back if we uh, fight against them. I can invite Edmure Tully to court and I've done it. <laughs> he says yes, but whether or not the Lannisters will allow him to is another thing, but that would be hilarious if they let him join us, because then we've got a Tully with us, which would be hilarious. Peace be with you. I accept your gracious invitation and we'll join your court. F oh, yeah, I've saved a couple more wildlings as well from beyond the wall before they all get slaughtered. I awesome, he's accepted. It must have rejected because I already had too many people. By the time we get our armies together, Stannis is going to have already lost. Command household guard. Improve my yes. Improve my levies in Winterfell. Drill the soldiers. Got some decent plot power here as well now to rescue the great John. Okay, so we've managed to get Edmure Tully in our court. That's hilarious. We've actually managed to save him. Lord Howard and Reedus tried to. Oh no, kicking off in the neck. Command to end war, please. Awesome. We'd say we don't we don't need any wars, please. We've had enough fighting in the north. We're trying to cure the north now. Still can't send for a maester. Oh, collect taxes in Winterfell. Perform charity in Winterfell as well. Improve diplomatic relations with the Vale. Keep them on side. And can you just oversee the realm for now, please? One of my guys, my young ward, is slowly mastering the art of swordsmanship. A trained fighter. That is awesome news. The Lord of Hornwood. Another bastard, just like us. Lord Lawrence Snow. It's a shame that we couldn't have legitimised him. Right, get all our army here. We need to march and try and take the cross in before... Oh, 90%. Okay, so... We've actually managed to get a little bit better in this war. We've managed to improve things. Vessels race too long. Yeah, that's going to be the problem now, isn't it? It's going to start upsetting people. But we need to get this war over with before the White Walkers march any further south. Lord Paramount John, certain valuable artifacts that are rightfully the property of House Mormont are currently being unjustly held in the north. I demand that they are returned intact to Bear Island as we may resort to more direct means to retrieve them. No, I'm not giving you Longclaw back. She's back down. So I've just given your bloody grandson some land. Uh, I will find him someone nice. Okay, who can we marry you to? Is there another wildling in our court? What about this woman? Yes, there we go. 
quite a big army here really now, haven't we? Be good to take the twins and take Fraser's prisoners. That would be absolutely amazing. Right, let's march on the twins. Lawrence has developed a habit for wild parties. There's nothing I can do. Gets a charitable trait though, which is good. Right, let's march on the twins. It'd be awesome if we could take the twins. Are we fighting against the Vale? That's not good. And I just had to smooth this over because we've got good diplomatic. Okay, the Florent army's up here with us as well. Let's march everyone down. Oh, wow, look at that White Walker army now. That is pretty terrifying. Lord Paramount John of the North succeeded with the plot to rescue Lord John Umbar. Awesome, we've managed to free him. Will that make his opinion of us very good? Yes, opinion of me, 70. That is great news. It's great to free him with how much he loved our brother. I'm not going to grant him anything, but at least he's free now. Poor small John Umber obviously died protecting our brother. It's a human body shield pretty much, wasn't it? So, ah, we can send for a maester now. Thank you, because we desperately need a maester. Right, let's march on the twins. I'd love to take more of the Frey's prisoner. My lord, a maester we sent from the Citadel has arrived in Winterfell, a stormlander by the name of Kyle. Let us hope he will be loyal and wise. Ah, uh, so yeah, he should just go straight as a maester. Good, and he's only young as well, so hopefully he'll get even better. The Stannis Baratheon War of the Iron Throne has ended. Lord Primate Stannis of the Stormlands has lost. My courtier Gavin Hardhunter has expressed a desire to get married. I will find him someone nice, right? Okay. We have lost the war. Our enemies have been obliterated. Our castle sat. Now I stand before King Tommy to hear his judgment. Let's hope he is merciful. Your acquaintance, Lord Stannis Baratheon, has been imprisoned by... John Stark, the king has decided treason cannot go in and punish, and that the only just course of action is, th is the forfeit of all your lands and titles, as well as your beheading. Additionally, a hostage from your family shall be taken, as to guarantee their future good behaviour. This is the judgment of Tommen of the House Lannister. Outrageous, I will die before I surrender. Lord Paramount of John of the North has declared Second War of Northern Independence. I'm not going to su just surrender what we've uh, tried to gain Work flipping hard to free the north. Um, hmm. Yeah, I want you to marry a rise. Well, there you go. We'll give you some sort of claim. Can we get the army of the Vale to help us? That would be perfect if we could. Could we form any other relationships with other people? Dawn. She's still unmarried. Uh, what about his sons? King Quentin. Oh, wow. He's actually managed to marry Daenerys. That's interesting. That doesn't normally happen. Prince Tristane. Arrange a marriage between him and... Oh, we've got Jane Paul in our custody now. That could be a good one for her, wouldn't it? Uh, she's heir to the castle of Coldstream. What about this white? No. Okay. It would have been nice to get Dawn on side. Okay, are the Tarleys fighting against someone? Lord Randall of the West March. No, they're just not getting involved by the looks of it. The Lannisters obviously aren't going to join. We've got the North and the Vale. It's a shame we can't get the Riverlands. Then again, House Blackwood could, maybe. Who knows? Right, well, we'll get our armies together at Moat Kaelin. Everybody to Moat Kaelin because it's the best place to defend from. It's a shame we haven't got any more... Ah, uh, we have got a few more vessels that we can raise. Awesome. 3,000 men from Hornwood. 1,000 men from Howland Reed. So we'll march everyone to, uh, yeah, to Moat Kaelin, as that's the easiest place for us to defend from. Oh, we need a new spy master. He must have died. So what's going on with Carhold? Are they just independent, or...? Yeah, he hates us, but we do have his sister, so. Which is one good thing about it. Okay, so Stannis is completely lost, but we still have a chance. If we can get the Vale to join us, that would be fantastic. But we're going to end this episode here, guys, for now. But look at that, we've got the North back. We still need to sort out Carhold, but first we need to sort out Prince Tommen. Hopefully, he's pretty depleted from all these wars. And hopefully. Ah! 
That is a good point. Maybe Aegon will go against him now. Defending against King Aegon. Yes, he is. And Lord Manfred of Blackhaven. Okay, so that gives us a chance because he's also got to defend against Aegon and Daenerys could turn up at some point. So we do have a chance for Northern Independence. But we're still Lord Paramount, John of the North, not a king yet. Just got to wait for Aya and Bran to show up. They normally do at some point. I bet Aya's over in Bravos. If we have a look. Court. She'll be here somewhere. She always is. Hmm. Maybe not. She normally is. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate it. And chat down below with me. Don't forget, you can also join the Discord server, which a few members have joined now, which would be great to have more of you in there so we can all chat. Game of Thrones, Crusader Kings, all that sort of thing, all that nerdy fantasy. But yeah, I'd love that. Thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you very soon.